Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Christy. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video and join my glam fam. I do upload new videos every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and when I'm not on YouTube, you can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram. We're gonna do something a little different today. We're actually gonna do like a get ready with me chit chat. We're not gonna dive too much into the details of each product. I just wanna have fun. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is going to be a little different for me today. We're actually going to do more of a relaxed chit chat, get ready with me. We're not going to go over every single product detail like we normally do and get into price comparisons and all that because I really want to try something different and do something more just relaxed, almost like we're girlfriends and we're just getting ready together and trying on new makeup because who doesn't love new makeup? Oh my goodness. So some of these products are not brand new to the market, but they're brand new to my makeup portfolio. So very excited. We're going to just dive right into it because there is so much I've got going on here. So we're going to start off with my skincare. I already did prep my skin because I typically do it when I get up. I get out of bed, I wash my face, I brush my teeth, do you know, do the whole shebang. <laughs> and I do my skincare products. So I have been loving this product by Good Molecules. These products are amazing. So if you have sensitive skin, you want to invest in the, it's almost like the ordinary. They're so inexpensive. I'll show the price points right there. Oh my goodness. So I have the niacinamide serum in the hyaluronic acid, and I also have the discolorization correcting serum. Very good products, very clean line. You get it at beautylish.com, so I will link everything on the bottom. But this hyaluronic acid has been a game changer for my dry, textured skin. And it's actually helping me not break out so much. So we're gonna try out a new foundation and a new primer today. This is per the request of one of my amazing subscribers, Crystal. So if you guys have suggestions, and I'm starting to get a lot of feedback now from like Amber and Crystal and a couple other subscribers that have like offered up suggestions on products to use. And I'm so excited because I cannot wait to dive into new products. So she recommended the Derma Blend Flawless Creator multi-use liquid pigment so I have never used this and you guys know I rate it or I did a video check it out on the derma blend concealer and I really liked it so she told me that her husband always gives her a lot of compliments so we'll see if this is gonna make my face look flawless like hers and then while I was there I decided to pick up the pore saver matte makeup primer by derma blend so haven't tried either one of these products obviously they're still in the box I'm not gonna really go over it too much because I want to speed this process up because I got a lot of new makeup so this primer is a $33 and it's supposed to make your makeup it's supposed to maximize your makeup for 24 hours so we'll see so I'm gonna squeeze that onto the back of my hand because I just want to feel the consistency I don't know I've never used this so it has a slight silicone texture to it uh, just kind of just melts into the skin so we're, ooh, very silicone type texture I didn't even really feel it till I got onto my skin these scare me a little because very soft though oh my gosh you guys so soft oh my goodness it almost feels like benefit professional like oh my gosh that's one of my favorite primers but it makes me break out so unfortunately I can't use it but when I want my makeup to look flawless that is the primer to go to but oh my goodness do you guys see that actually that really blurred out everything. Wow, that is nice. Oh my goodness, you guys. My skin feels like a baby's butt. Beautiful primer, $33 too, and you get how many ounces? One fluid ounce, so not bad. All right, let's uh, put some uh, Summer Fridays. This is the Lip Butter Balm. 
I love this stuff, you guys. I'm a huge Summer Fridays jet lag. I'll show it right there, the mask. I love the mask, especially during the winter time when my skin is so dry. I, that's the only mask that doesn't break me out. I can't use any other mask, so that's the only one I can use. Oh, you guys, this is a very soft bomb. Your lips feel so luscious. Tell me, you guys, what you are up to. What shows are you watching right now during quarantine? Tell me how it's been, how you guys are feeling during this quarantine. Is everyone feeling like kind of bluesy? Are you seeing like the light at the end of the tunnel? I'm starting to feel like I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but it gets a little lonely, you know? Let me know what you guys are doing, if the kids are driving you crazy, or if you're single and just living life. All right, this is the Dermablend Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigment. This looks like a good color on the outside of the bottle. This is a 37 warm. I'll always put it at the very bottom of the screen. So this is a $40 and you get 30 mils of product, one fluid ounce, so not a bad price point. This is supposed to be oil-free and I think water-based for sensitive skin, non-comogenic, I mean, everything as sensitive skin girls want. So very excited. This has like one of those Doppler type uh, bottles. So you either love it or hate it. We're gonna try out this new little gadget I got on Amazon and you just slide it on your hand and then you could put your makeup there so it doesn't get all, I should have done that with the primer, hello. <laughs> I keep forgetting to use this. So I have a new Amazon store, you guys. Make sure that you follow the link in my description box to my Amazon store and I put everything I buy on Amazon. I get a little crazy with Amazon Prime, I mean. Maybe I need to cancel my membership because this quarantine has me spending too much money. <laughs> but anyway, I put in all of my beauty, fitness, because I'm a big fitness person too, I put in everything in that store and you can just follow those links and I do get an affiliate kickback for that, you guys. So I really appreciate it if you utilize that link and go through my store. But all of these little nicks and knacks I get, my I use for like the clips in my hair, all of it is on there. So this is really, really cool. I love this device. So we're gonna adopt that into, the only thing weird is that like, using this thing, I usually like to feel it on my skin and I can't. But it's nice, cause then I don't get all messed up. So we're gonna try Beauty Blender and brush, but most likely we're gonna go with the brush, cause you guys know I love the brush. I'm gonna use my NYX Cosmetics Professional Brush, you guys, I have been loving this foundation brush. All right, let's just try it with the brush at first. Oh my goodness, this goes on so beautifully. All right, I have to take that off because I need my little mirror, you guys. Oh my goodness. Wow. That, I didn't do my eyebrows because I really wanted to see, get in there, get in the nooks and crayons and not worry about it. Wow. Oh my goodness. My skin looks flawless. What? Oh my gosh. And I'll go over it with a beauty blender to take off any excess after, but you guys kind of know I like it. I mean, I'll try it with a beauty blender first on the other side, but oh, wow, that's beautiful. All right, that was one drop. Let's try another drop. And we'll go in with my tried and true dose of colors sponge. I need to dry this. Make sure your beauty blender is damp, but it's not soaking wet. So for my girls that like to use beauty blenders or just as makeup sponges in general, just make sure it's not like, this is. This was a little bit too wet. So I'm just kind of taking my towel and just, I usually use a paper towel, but I don't have one right now, so that's okay. So we're gonna take the butt of this Dose of Color sponge. I, I really love this sponge, you guys. It's one of my favorites. And then you can, yeah, I mean, it goes on just as beautiful with the sponge. So very nice. Wow, it's just preference. It's whatever you guys want to do. This might be a little bit light for me, but I don't care. It's so pretty. It's still a beautiful color though. Wow, okay, let me show you guys the color on my skin real quick. So that's, let me try to focus here. That's 37W. It's a very nice color, you guys, very nice. Let me take this excess now. And just kind of, even goes in really nice with your finger. So if you're a finger, I'm just not a big finger person, but if you're a finger person, it does go in nicely. This is literally, so far, we're gonna do a wear test, going on so beautiful, I can't even handle it. I can't, 
This is like, literally, I think this is gonna be my favorite foundation. Thank you, Crystal. You were right. Oh my goodness, I don't know where I've been. Why have I slept on this product? I think it's been out for like a year now. Hello, Christy, where have you been? Oh, I tell you guys, it is so pretty. Wow. Okay, let's go in with the concealer. This is the 40W. If you haven't checked out this video, check out this video. I did swatch the 30 in my other video, but I ended up just keeping the 40. So I really, really like it. This is such a phenomenal concealer. I just don't always use it because I have a ton of concealers. All right, let's put this guy on. It's a perfect color too. It's not too bright and uh, it's not too dark. So that's what I like. And I like that I can kind of go over some of my areas with it. What I like about Dermablend is they are, you know, uh, dermatology friendly. So you're non-comogenic. So for us sensitive skin girls and people, not just with acne problems, but, or breakouts, but just in general, you know, I'm just gonna do it right here. I know, that's a lot. I'm a sexy face. <laughs> Let's try this Zoeva brush. This is a lot like my Pat McGrath one. It's just bigger. This is the Pat McGrath one. This one's really tiny, but a lot like, and I think Selena Gomez Rare Beauty has one a lot like it too, but I like the angular. I'm gonna try this one out. I just kind of played with it a little bit earlier or when I first got it, but. So I like that you can really get in there, but I still like my bigger one, my milk one that I got last Christmas at the holiday season. I was hoping they were gonna bring this back, you guys, because I know a lot of you have asked me, Kara, where can I get that brush? That brush is so nice. I am so sorry if I cover up, you guys. I'm trying to be better about that, and I'm trying to get better about my angles and everything. I hear some of your feedback that, you know, my angles are not always great. So thank you very much. I do appreciate any good constructive feedback. As long as you guys are nice about it, that's all I care about. I really love the combination of these two. I know the Sephora VIB sale is probably still going on by the time I film this, so very excited to get my hands on more things. I already have the items in my basket. I'll show you guys what my basket looks like so far. I am so excited. I have been waiting to get my hands on that Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and I was not gonna spend $55 because I just spent money on the Natasha one and the new Pat McGrath one, which I'm still waiting on. It looks like they finally just shipped it. All right, you guys, so let's just set this down. Now it does recommend on their website and uh, I think the description that you use the setting powder that Dermablend offers, but I have so many setting powders, you guys. I couldn't justify you know, investing in another one. So typically I'd go in with my hourglass, but because we're trying on new makeup today, we are actually gonna try the Pat McGrath one. I've never used her translucent powder, so excited to try that out. Again, I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Okay, this is, I wanna say light medium. We'll see if this is gonna be the right color, just to set the perimeters of my face. All right, let's see. So I've never tried, oh, nice peachy like color, peachy yellow tone color to it. Ooh, it's very finely milled. It has like a cushion base there. Very soft, very finely milled. Just melts into the skin. Okay, we're gonna take that on the back of the butt of my beauty blender, or sorry, my sponge. I always say beauty blender. I'm just kind of pounce that in. My mirror is all dirty. All right. This is the Reiki small one. My big one, I love the Grace, but it covers up my face too much. And I feel so bad. I know that last Natasha video when I was putting on the lipstick, I'm so sorry, you guys, that didn't even, it's hard because I don't even know until I'm done and I'm editing and I'm like, oh great, that was nice. Oh wow, this is a really nice powder. I like to go in with loose powders with a sponge only because I feel like it, just kind of melts it into the skin and it really, or presses it into the skin and it doesn't come off so cakey. That's what I like about it. Cause I know I like a lot of powder, but a lot of people don't. And I know it's, you know, kind of a no-no for mature skin. You want to make sure it's nice and glowy and hydrated, 
but I'm just a powder kind of girl. It's very finely milled. It's very beautiful. I wouldn't use this one underneath my eye, only because this one's a little too dark for my taste. I am gonna try, this is my uh, Z palette. This is the large one I love. So I do wanna go in, cause I have never tried it before. This is the new Kat Von, not new, but new to my collection, the Kat Von D. Lock It Setting Powder. So I saw, I was just, you know, perusing through the Ulta website and, you know, KVD is new to Ulta. Kat Von D doesn't own the company anymore. I want to say she sold it, but it's called KVD now. But I've heard really good things about this Lock It Setting Powder. So I didn't put too much of the Pat McGrath because I do really want to try this instead of going with my Charlotte Tilbury because you guys know. My Charlotte Tilbury has always been my my jam. All right, I'm gonna take my Chica Hoto Z series. Yeah, I know this brush is crazy expensive, but anyway, it's one of my best brushes ever. So I'm gonna take that and just kind of lock it in there with that locket powder. I did get the light, and that was way too light. So because I want to use it on the rest of my skin, and I already have too many light under eye setting powders, so I didn't really want to go in with that. But. It's really nice. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit more on that brush and just kind of swipe it around. It would be a good one to buff. So I did, oh, I, I know this is really bad, but I did get the new Sicily, not new, but the Sicily Fido powder. So I really wanna try it. I mean, Sicily Paris, you guys, is a very expensive luxury brand, but their products are supposed to be absolutely amazing. So that video is coming soon. I am doing an all luxury makeup video. <laughs> champagne taste on a beer budget <laughs> wait for that one it's coming so uh, yeah we're gonna see if those are worth the hefty price tag so I'm just kind of blotting that in taking off any excess powders all right now I'm gonna go in with the point of my beauty blender and I'm going to take the makeup forever and the lyric and I'm gonna mix those two together and we're gonna put that underneath my eye just to brighten up the area like right here just right there and I know it looks crazy right now but just just trust the process trust the process and those just melt into the skin and I feel like they don't accentuate any lines they just lock in your under eye area like nothing else it is so amazing those are my two favorite combinations and then you could just get any type of refillable magnetic palette and do it that way because you can buy Lyric on its own. I think it's like $15 or whatever it is, the refill. And then the Makeup Forever ones are like 20. So beautiful under eye. I know that's a lot of under eye setting, but that's my jam, okay? Don't be judgy. Don't be judgy wedgy. I like this method, just how I like to do things. But you know, it's not for everybody. And I'm just going around the edges and just kind of buffing in so there's no lines. And I'm not worried about it because I'm gonna put the bronzer right there, so. We'll get there, we'll get there. So we have the Scott Barnes Contour Palette. We're gonna try that out today for the first time. You get a lot of contour shades in this. I mean, you really can't go wrong. I know he uses some of this as blushes. I know he uses it as eyebrow powders. So this is a very multi-purposed palette. You guys know I love his uh, number 63 oh my goodness this is like this brush changed my nose contour game like seriously the best it's i think it's an eyeshadow or a winger brush but love it for the nose contour and then i have two of his highlighters now these were in the summer but i never reviewed them so yeah i can't wait to try this out we have Bondi Beach, this was a darker one, I wanna say. Such beautiful packaging. Bronzing powder, but it also has like a highlighter in the inside. So that's why we're using it as a bronzer and a highlighter today. We're gonna try them out. And then this one is Sicilian Sun. I have to tell you guys, the customer service with Scott Barnes website, cosmetics, when you go on his website, is insanely good. So they sent me the wrong one, and then let me keep the other one. <laughs> like, thanks, thank you, Scott Barnes. Like, that's amazing. Like, wow, that was really good customer service. And does Jennifer Lopez's makeup, come on now. So I also have Mario's, this is for the eyes. This is like the glossing. I know this is really big right now. This is supposed to like 
give you like that. I kind of already dipped my finger into that, but it looks like there's nothing in the pan, but it's like a clear gel like texture. I don't know. It's supposed to like give you like that glossy look, but I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna use that. I don't even know if we're gonna keep that. We'll find out. All right, let's get into the contour first and then we'll get into everything else. Yeah, I've got so much to go here. All right, let's get into this nose contour. We're probably gonna use, ooh, I think we're gonna use Snatched. We're gonna use that one right there, Snatched, because we want our nose to look snatched. We'll kind of mix Snatched and Frame or maybe Carve. We might mix those two together and kind of pull in a cool tone color. All right, we'll use his brush and we will just, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what we got here. I don't know how pigmented these are. Ooh, very pigmented. Wow, very pigmented. Ooh, whoa, whoa, hello. All right, well, let's just see. Let's see how this works. We'll take it with this brush first. I typically go in with my Luxie one and then I go in with this one, but we'll see. I don't know. We're just gonna kinda follow that nose contour. I'm going very light-handed because these are super pigmented. Don't worry, we're gonna blend that out. That is like super pigmented like way more pigmented than I even imagined. So you wanna just make sure you're pushing that in like that. We're gonna use my Hakahoto brush to contour the, the cheekbone area. This is the S110. I'm only doing this one. There's nothing on it. It just looks like there's something on it uh, because I want it to be soft and this is a really pigmented product. So. I wanna be careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go with chiseled, I think, so it's not too muddy. All right, I'll just use this mirror and we'll just kinda of go in right here. Ooh, yeah, see how pigmented that is? Whoa, that's crazy pigmented. So yeah, you really gotta go light-handed. If you use a synthetic brush with this palette, you gotta go super light-handed because it's it'll be aggressive, I'm telling you. nice though. I'm gonna go in with diced, sliced, and snatched. We're gonna do all three of those. I'm just gonna do that. Now we're gonna go underneath the jawline. Yeah, very pretty though. So I like that Locket setting powder by Kat Von D. It's nice, but I still like my Charlotte Tilbury one. All right, let's try this bronzer because I'm very excited. This one is Sicilian and that one's Bondi. So I think we're gonna go with Bondi. I think Sicilian's a little too orange for my skin tone. So yeah, as you start going in on there, you wanna make sure, like I don't wanna get too much of the highlighter at first. So I'm gonna take my Hakahoto, the bigger one. This is the S531. I'll put, I always put it at the top, you guys, just so you know the brushes, I'm sure you see that. I hope that's helpful, I've been doing that lately. All right, let's try this guy. Pretty, very beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful bronzer, you guys. Wow, this Bondi one? Oh my goodness, that is really pretty. All right, so very pretty. I took a little bit on this smaller Chica Hoto brush just because I have a small face, so I like to use this one just to really kind of buff everything in. And there's really not much product on this brush. It's kind of clean. All right, you guys, so I did my eyeshadow base off camera just because it takes too long. And it's the same method I always do. It's the NARS Creamy Concealer. You guys know I love this stuff. I just did it in my NARS video, so you can check out that video if you want to see how I apply that. I actually really like using the Pat McGrath powder because it was like a perfect yellow tone powder. And I did it with my Sonia G, uh, which one is this? The Worker 2. I love it with this brush. And all I did was I just kind of set that down just to make sure every, there was no creasing before I go in with the eyeshadow. And 
oh my gosh, this brush is amazing, amazing. I love that one and I love the uh, Skyline. This is her uh, Smooth Buffer brush. This is brand new. Oh my goodness, so good, you guys. So incredibly good. All right, so let me go in and try out these new shadows. So this is the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty. You guys know I just did her entire review of her line and then she launched the eyeshadows shortly after. Wow, this is really nice packaging. So her original packaging was more plasticky where this is like kind of feels more luxurious, more uh, expensive. It's really pretty though. Beautiful packaging, wow. What I like about this palette is I feel like I can get multiple looks out of this one and it's still kind of neutral tone. So I feel like I can create a look with those, you know, those three right here and then those three right there. And this one's kind of like, oh, where am I at? Right here, there we go. And that one is kind of more like the universal one that I can use with all of them. It's gonna be a really pretty inner corner highlight. So I will go over the swatches right there. This is a six pan palette, 0 0.04 ounces, 1.3 grams of eyeshadow. And if you look at those swatches, do you see how creamy those swatches are? You have Ablaze, Ignite, Power, Clarity, Grounded, and Passion. Oh my goodness, you guys. So we're gonna go in with the Eye Dolls from Pat McGrath. And I love this one. This is statuesque, you guys know I always use this. And I use this for my contour, I use it for my eyeshadow, like literally I'll probably just use this most of the time. So I'm just using this as my transition shade just to make sure we have a nice transition going on there. So pretty. And I love that I can just blend that into my nose contour right there. And then I just drew you guys in closer. So I am trying this out. I'm actually adjusting my camera instead of editing to zoom in. So hoping that this shows the shadows more. All right, we're gonna go in with, oh my goodness, there's so many pretty colors in this. We're gonna try something a little different for me today. So we're gonna actually use that green one as like all over. So let me just swatch that for you guys again. Do you see how rich and pigmented that is? Wow, that's insane. We're gonna try to do it with our fingers, I guess. Okay. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see how creamy those are? Those just glide on like nothing I've ever seen before. Wow. Okay, let me take my good old MAC 242. We're not gonna wet the brush. We're gonna just try to do them without, because I really don't think you're gonna need to, but I just need to get, oh yeah, oh, you don't even need to. These are extreme, these are like Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona eyeshadows for $20, you guys. That's insane. And don't worry, I'm gonna smoke out that. Uh, inner area right there. So I'm not worried about not placing it in nicely. Wow. All right, we're gonna go in with a tighter brush. Let's do this Sigma E42, I wanna say. Yeah, E42, I love this one. If you have hooded eyes, I always use that Sonia G Mini Booster, but this is another good one too. This is synthetic and I'm just gonna take that color a little bit on the brush and I'm just gonna buff that into the edges of where I place down that shadow just to kind of keep it tight. You don't want to use a big brush because we're gonna take the big brush and, and uh, even diffuse that out even more but this is just to kind of diffuse out any lines that we had going on. That is a gorgeous color. I definitely want to get my hands on the other palette because wow. And I have mature textured eyes. So the fact that that's just melting on is so incredibly beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna take that Pat McGrath statuesque color in my Wayne Goss brush and just go over that area and just kind of diffuse out the edges, creating that ombre effect, that gradient effect right there. I'm gonna take that peachy color, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of put it right above that green right here, just really light-handed. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, see? Look at we found a purpose for it in this look. 
So it kind of made it look a little bit more autumn-like. This would have gone with my last outfit that I wore in that Natasha Denona video. All right, I'm gonna go in with my mini booster just to see the difference. So it reminds me, the mini booster is actually a little bit wider, I think, but I think it blends, yeah. It just, it blends out a little bit better though. That's the thing. So I kind of like taking that Sigma one and depositing the product and then really blending it out with this Sonia G mini booster. If you have hooded eyes, I'm telling you, these are the kind of brushes you need to invest in because they're so, so good. I ended up getting two mini boosters because I really, really like that product. I am gonna take this color. That is such a pretty color. And I'm just gonna pop that into the center. Thank you, Selena. Oh, Selena's. <laughs> if you watch the movie Selena, you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at. And I want to say she was named after Selena, which I am a huge Selena Quintanilla fan. My grandfather was a huge Selena fan. His brother lives in Corpus Christi and got him into Selena music. He used to have it in his car. Back onto the Sigma brush, E42, and just kind of smoking out those edges again. All right, just for kicks, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Pat McGrath uh, this is one of her, this is the Eye Ecstasy Sublime little mini palette, and I think it's Sinful. This green one right here. I'm gonna take that one right into the center. I just wanna see what this does. I just had a curious. See how incredibly pigmented it is? And that it does remind me of a lot of the same type of texture. Like the fact that you're getting all of this in her palette is crazy good. These sublime ones are always on sale at Sephora and patmcgrath.com. See that? Oh, literally, that is my favorite color of all time. Seriously, it's like the most beautiful color. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Natasha Denona Warm Contour Palette, just to kind of warm up the look a little. I'm just gonna take that right here on the edge, just the top. Okay, we'll put statuesque uh, on this Hakahoto brush. So we'll just take this guy and just kind of make sure we're smoking everything out nice and evenly. All right, we're gonna take this Wayne Goss number five and we're gonna take that dark green color and we're gonna put that on the lower lash line. We're just connecting it to the top. This green is literally one of the most beautiful greens I have ever used. This palette is incredible, you guys. Oh, I am so impressed. And there really wasn't a lot of fallout. I mean, there's some, it's soft. It's a soft powder, but that's what gives it so much. That's what packs so much punch in it. I honestly feel like I can create a beautiful look with these two palettes together. Like seriously, like I didn't really and only needed one matte and you can even use, you don't even have to use that. You can just use your contour or your bronzer. Like seriously, like that is beautiful. And they're nice and compact too, easy to travel with. I love that. So pretty. All right, let's go in with this new blush I have. So I have the whole Hourglass holiday collection coming up in a video. Stay tuned for that. But I did want to try out, I did buy this quite like a couple months ago and I totally forgot about it. This is bad. All right, this Hourglass Ambient Blush is called At Night and it came out like, I want to say like a couple months ago before they launched the holiday collection, which I just can't wait for you guys to see on camera. I haven't even dived into those colors yet, but if you've never used an Hourglass blush, they are so good, so good. So I am going to use their brush. This is, uh, I wanna just say this is Hourglass number two. I don't know, I've never really tried this brush. So I think I tried it in my Wayne Goss video with the highlighter, but I've never tried it for blush. And I just wanted to try it because it's an Hourglass brush. It is synthetic. So for my girls out there, it's cruelty free. It is synthetic. So I'm gonna do this one. Just, oh, oh wow, that's pigmented. Oh, that's a pretty color. Ooh, that is beautiful. Wow, that one 
pick packs a lot of punch. All right, let's blend that out. Whoa, that is pretty. You guys, I can't believe it. Since filming, and I've you know, had to turn my camera on and off and do things off camera, I've had this foundation on for probably about two hours now, and it has not set into my lines or anything. Like that is a gorgeous, this is my favorite foundation so far. I can guarantee you it's gonna wear really nice, but we will do a wear test. I do wanna try to go over it with the Patrick Ta Do We Know Her. So I did the video on She's That Girl, and that was more of the pink color. This is more of the coral one. I was really excited to try this one out, and I think it will go really well with this look. But yeah, so pretty. The She's That Girl, I use this every time I do my makeup. I just love his formulation. It's just insanely good. So obviously I already did the blush, so I'm not gonna do the powder on this one. I'm just gonna do the cream one. And I'm gonna take my, actually, you know, yeah, I'm gonna take my brush on this guy and just go in there and just kind of plop that right here. Oh, oh my gosh, that's powerful. All right, I'm gonna have to blend that out now. Right. Wow. Well, that was pigmented. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm going to blend it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. We're going to go in with my hourglass powder just because it has a little bit more micro crystals on there. And we're going to kind of just buff, buff in. We'll take the metallic strobe light powder. I am going to take a little bit of Pat McGrath, the trio. I never do this one on camera, but I use this one a lot. This is the Sublime, I want to say. Uh, I don't know. I'll put the name right there. Made in Italy. It's so pretty. I love this one. So that's why I'm so excited to try out her new holiday one. All right, you guys, I'm going to pop on my lashes and then I'll give you my final thoughts on everything we tried on. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. I did my hair, I put my lashes on, and I just love the way everything turned out. That was really fun doing a get ready with me chit chat. Let me know if you guys like this. And also if you have any other suggestions, like Crystal gave me this foundation, which is probably gonna be my favorite foundation now. So drop some comments below and let me know if there's other products you guys want me to try out. All in all, I am so happy with every product I put on my face today, honestly. So let's go over just a quick rundown of the products that I would repurchase and that I really, really like or would replace my holy grails. So let's start off with the foundation and the primer because, oh my goodness, this is gonna be my go-to combination right here. This is unbelievably beautiful, like beautiful. I feel like my face looks flawless. And then as far as like the setting powders go, I really like the Pat McGrath. Would it replace my hourglass? No, probably not. But I do like it to set my eyes. I thought it was really nice. I'm not disappointed with it and I would repurchase it again because I do like it for the outer perimeters and to give a little bit more pigment. But that hourglass translucent powder is like no other. But we're going to find out quickly if the Sicily one takes its place. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. As far as my other setting powders go, the Kat Von D Lock It Powder. I don't know if that's my absolute favorite. Uh, I think it's pretty, but I don't think it's amazing. As far as the contour and bronzing go, so I do love this contour palette. And I feel like there's multiple multiple things I can do with this contour palette. So absolutely love it. You can even do shadows. I should have used those as my shadows today. Why didn't I do that? Oh well, next time. Very beautiful. I love that contour palette. I've been looking for a good contour powder and Scott Barnes is the king of contouring. I mean, hello, Jennifer Lopez is like the most flawless human being on the face of this earth. Just flawless. So, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. As far as these bronzers go, I think they're beautiful. Are they my absolute favorite? No, I wouldn't replace my Charlotte Tilbury, which is my absolute favorite. So I like them and I think they're beautiful, but I don't think I love them. So not regretful of the purchase. Absolutely think they're gonna be stunning for summer. I'll probably put them away until summertime. So very pretty. He is phenomenal. I can't wait to try his eyeshadows too. The Rare Beauty Eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is kind of, this and Dermablend were the standout products for me. 
Oh my goodness, this shadow palette is insanely beautiful. I absolutely, absolutely love this eyeshadow. I'm actually going to buy the other one when the Sephora VIP sale happens because that was beautiful. And I mixed in with my uh, Pat McGrath. Oh, that was like the perfect combination. This hourglass blush at night, I thought I actually wasn't gonna like it and I do really like it. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. And mixed with that Patrick Ta, uh, this one is called, sorry, Do We Know Her? Do We Know Her? Oh, I mean, these blush duos are just incredible, incredible. That's probably like my 2020 highlight. I love that cream blush. Never thought in a million years I would say that and I love it. I can't stop using it. I did use new lashes today. So these are Bellamy lashes. So you guys know I love, if you watch my videos prior, I love Bellamy hair extensions. That's what I use for my hair extensions. That and Glam Seamless are the two hair extension products that I love the most. Well, Bellamy has eyelashes and I didn't even know it until I ordered the clip-ins and oh my gosh, I'll, oh, what is this one called? This one's called Honey, Honey, Honey. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of honey in these. They are so, and I love the little case it comes in. So you guys know I'm a ride or die Amy June Lash and Lily Lash Miami foe, but these are gonna be one of my faves. I'm telling you, they are beautiful. And I didn't have to cut them. I mean, they were perfectly molded to like the exact eye shape of mine. So I would definitely reorder these. Definitely, they are so beautiful. I love these kind of videos. I wanna do more of these. Let me know if you guys like that and please say hello, drop comments, follow me on Instagram. I'm actually gonna do an Instagram post on uh, what products, like you guys pick my makeup for the video. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram because I am going to get, take like a little tool or tool, pole, pole, not tool. <laughs> I don't know. I have my own dictionary. Anyway, I am gonna do that and I'm gonna post it on Instagram and I want you guys to comment below and let me know what products you, and then I'll kind of just kind of, sort through them and see, but you guys are gonna pick my makeup for a video. So I think that would be so fun, let's do that. So make sure you are following me at Christy Allure on Instagram, and please, if you're new, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be part of my Glam Fam. I do upload new videos every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And again, when I'm not on YouTube, you can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram. Please give this video a huge thumbs up, that really helps me out, you guys. Let's roll over into the wear Test. All right, you guys, so this is about 10 hours later. It's almost eight o'clock. I've filmed two videos. I've had this on literally all day. And this foundation, I didn't have to retouch anything. It is so beautiful. I just filmed another tutorial at Hair One, so be sure to check that one out next week. <laughs> I don't wanna give too much details on that. I love all of these products I tried on. This was a really fun video for me to just do something really relaxed, chill, get ready with me. Let me know if you guys wanna see more like this and leave comments below because Crystal left a comment and she recommended this foundation and now I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite foundations I've ever applied to my face and I cannot believe the wear on this. It is insane. I'm gonna try more Dermablend products because I like the primer, the concealer, this foundation. I mean, I have to try the setting powder now. <laughs> I've gone this deep into it. I hope you guys like this. If you're new, please remember to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, follow me at Christy Allure, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby